how you have watched over us now through the years, Lord God. Thank you for how you have protected us, Lord God. Lord, how you did have not allowed any hurt, harm, and pain, or to be the Lord God. Lord, you can fight a little bit. Lord, and for that, we give you thanks. Lord, we praise your holy name. Lord, we ask you that you will continue to watch us. Lord, that we will move by your spirit. Lord, when you say the promise is unto those that are on the call, and as big as the Lord, I will watch you on the call. Lord, you have not been saved. Lord, you are still there. Send you will be with us until the end. Always, Lord, I will say, always be there. Lord, we ask that you have a watch your future. Lord, that we will be blessed. Help us to be prosperous. Help us to do thy will. One day, Lord, We thank God for all things. We 
thank God for the word because the word of God is the thing that gives us the explicit information about how God wants us to live, doesn't it? So, and how he wants us to worship, praise, and honor him. For he is certainly worthy of all praise and all honor in the name of the Lord. We don't give it to him like we should, but he is certainly worthy of it yes, he is. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we just thank God for that. And we pray that God will ever continue to bless us all and keep us ever with a mind to look to him. All right, we're going to get started today. We're going to talk some about the Ark of the Covenant, and we just thank God for, for the Ark, that which was a uh, presentation or a symbolic thing of the presence of God. And, you know, and, and while it was in the presence of Israel, they were able to give God praise and honor for just his presence being with them. And it means something to have the presence of God with you. You know that? Amen. 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 It means something. You may not realize it, but it means something to have his presence with you. You know, Jesus said when he was here, he told him, he said, I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. Didn't he say so? So we're certainly glad for that. We pray that God will ever continue to bless us and keep us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, Joshua get the 13th chapter of First Chronicles, read in the 15th chapter of the same book. We're going to talk about the Ark and see uh, what. Amen. Let us all say thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for that. Jesus. It means something. Yes. It means a whole lot more, I think, sometimes than we realize, you know, to have his presence with us in the name of Jesus Christ. And the ark was a symbolic thing of the presence of God, you know, and we just thank God. We're going to just, just read and see how it meant so much to Israel in the name of the Lord. And we should be thankful to know how much it means for us to have God in our life. You know what it means a lot to have God in your life? Yeah. It means a whole lot. Amen. A lot of people don't realize, you know, that it means a lot to have the Lord in our life. It means a lot to want to do what the Lord say do. It means a whole lot. A lot of people don't realize what it really does. All right, Joshua 1st Chronicles, 13th chapter, verse, start at verse 4. Verse, verse 4. Four. Let's hear it. And all the congregation said that they would do so. And all, begin at verse 3. First Chronicles chapter 13, beginning at verse 3. What it said? And let us bring again the ark of our God to us. And let us bring again. Let us bring again the ark of our God to us. You know, saints, when you come to the, before the Lord, we're supposed to come, every, come to give God praise. Don't look for sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so. You got to have praise in you. You got to be glad for God yourself. Amen. You got to be glad. Amen. You got to thank God for his presence. Not wait for nobody else. Amen. Let us all give God praise and thanks. Amen. But the enemy don't want that to happen. He don't want us to praise the Lord. He don't want us to worship. But it means something, saints. That which was written for a time, written for our learning. We're going to hear some things about how they worship, how they prayed, how they honored the Lord. What it said? And let us bring again the ark of our God to us. Let us bring again the ark of our God to us. For we inquired not at it in the days of Saul. We didn't inquire at it in the days of Saul. And all the congregation said that they would do so. And all the congregation did what? Said that they would do so. Amen. All, all of us, we should, we should, it shouldn't be no hard thing for us to come and praise the Lord together. Amen. It shouldn't be difficult. You know, we should be eager to come in and have a praise, have a testimony for the Lord. Because you know what the Lord has done? He's done something for every one of us. Amen. Hasn't he? Amen. Yes, he has. Whether we, whether we give him the glory that's due to him. Amen. Is that right? He done done something for all of us. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Sometimes we don't give him the praise that's due to him. Sometimes the enemy cuts us off. See, I don't feel like saying nothing today. I don't feel like 
praising. I don't feel like testifying. The devil is a liar. Amen. Make him a liar. Amen. Don't let him have the range over you. Give God the praise. Amen. What he said. And all the congregation said that they would do so. They would do so. For the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. It was what? It was right in the eyes of all the people. Read the book. So David gathered all Israel together. From gathered Shehor. all Israel together. From Shehor of Egypt. David gathered all Israel together from Shehor of Egypt. Even until entering of Heman. Yes, sir. To bring the ark of God from Cairo, Germany. To bring the ark of God. You know, and it was a symbol of the presence of God. It meant something. To get the people together, we're going we to bring this thing down together. Read. And David went up in all of Israel to Balaam. Yes. That is, to Karajah, Jerem, which belonged to Judah. Uh-huh. To bring up thence the ark of God. To bring the up the ark of God. The Lord. The, the ark of God what? The Lord. You hear that? That's key. The ark of God, the Lord. Amen. The ark was a symbolic thing of the presence of God. They, let me tell you something. They couldn't even handle the ark any kind of way. Amen. You can't come before God present any kind of way. Amen. We got to come before the Lord and give him praise and honor. Is that right? Amen. This don't give him anything. This don't say anything. Mean what you're doing. And, is that right? Amen. And do what you mean. Give God praise. Everybody should praise the Lord. Because the scripture is saying that everything. Didn't he say so? That have bread. Praise the Lord. We should always be ready to magnify the Lord. Is that right? Read the book. What verse you at? Verse 6. Let's hear it. And David went up in all of Israel. And David went up in all of Israel. To Balaam. To Balaam. That is, to Karja the Jew. Yes. Uh-huh. Which belonged to Judah. Yes. To bring up thence the ark of God the Lord. Yes. That dwelleth between the cherubim. That dwell between the cherubim. Who, whose name is called on it. Whose name is called. Is that all right? Read it. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the hearts of Abinah. They took it out of, with a new cart. See, it was, it was something that they, they took and they carried. Amen. But it was a symbolic thing of the presence of God. Amen. It's like the ark that, Mo, that Noah built. Do you not know that was the presence of God? Because yes. he did it like God told him to do it. And that was the, 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 the ark was for the people to come in to be saved. Yeah. Just like now, the Lord Jesus is for us to come to, to be saved. Amen. We come to the Lord to be saved. You don't come to the Lord just to, you know, just to come. We come to the Lord and the Lord give us a mind so that we can be saved. Yeah. That's our whole purpose, yeah. to be saved. Noah was building the ark. The people saw him building it, and they didn't, they didn't believe the, what he was teaching. And saying when he was building the ark. But the minute it started raining and the water started coming from the top and the bottom, then they wanted to come and go into the ark. Amen. But you know what God did? He took the key. Amen. Huh? It was too late. Amen. The presence of God is, is among us now, Amen. but we don't want to wait too late. Amen. You don't want to wait too late to see God, to see what God has for you. While his presence is among us. Yeah. What he says. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab. Uh-huh. And Uzzah the Ahio drave the cart. Yeah. And David and all of Israel played before God with all their might. And, now listen to this. And David and who? In all Israel. All Israel. Played before God with all their played might. Played before God with what? All their might. All them. See how much it meant to them. Yes. Well, you know, you give your all your might to something. Yes, yes, Jesus. You know something. You ever notice something? We may come before God's presence, and we may not say nothing. We may not. We may come. We may not clap our hands. Do you think, in the sight of God, that's justifiable? No, sir. It's not. I'm here to tell you, it's not. We got to give God praises. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, you know, give him praise. This is written for our learning. That which was written before time was written for our learning. Here, these people is giving God praise with all their might. We don't put too much might in nothing now, do we? Let's be honest and let's be real. Do we come before God and give him all our might? 
If somebody did that, they'd look at a train and say, what, what, are you, what are you doing? What's she doing? Well, we're supposed to give God all our, all we give him. Just give him all you can give him. Is that right? This was written for our learning. Look at it. Sometimes we just nonchalantly, we just, uh, well, whatever. I'll sing if I sing, I sing. If I don't, I won't. What difference does it make? It means a lot. Because you come, you are, you know where you are? We are in the presence of God. We are being judged right now. See, we may think we are not, but when we come before his presence, we're being judged. Huh? What kind of bread would we make today in the praise of God? What he says. And David and all Israel played before God. And David and all Israel played before God with all their might. And with singing. With what? And with singing. With singing. And with heart. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to take our time with this. Mm -hmm. With singing. See, we come before God's presence. We don't even say nothing sometimes. Yes. Don't. Let us be, let's be real and honest with ourselves today. But God, like I heard somebody say the song, I owe God. I owe God the praise. We owe God every day we come, every time we come before his brother, we owe him. We in debt to him. To say hallelujah, to say something, to give him praise. To give him honor. But we don't do it. We don't see nothing to thank him for. You don't see nothing to thank him for. You don't say not, see nothing to say, Lord, thank you. Even if you just got up and say, thank you, Jesus. Amen, sir. We don't see nothing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And he's doing something for you every day. Amen. What he says to you? And David and all Israel played before God with all their might. David and all Israel played before God with all their might. And with singing. With singing. And with hearts. With hearts. And with sorrows. With sorrows. And with timbrel. With timbrel. And with cymbals. And with cymbals. And with trumpets. Yes. See what they did? Yes. The Lord, the Lord loved that. How the Lord sitting on the throne. He glory, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He loved when we can give him praise. Is that right? When you can play skill for you and give God praise on the simple the heart didn't he say so? He loved that. Because he he's being worshipped, he's being praised. Is that right? Thank you, Lord. Don't be looking around and wanting to say, well, who, who he ain't doing that, so I ain't gonna do that. She ain't saying nothing, so I ain't gonna say nothing. People are looking to see who prays. You ain't praising me. I ain't pray. We both be praising the Lord. And God says, the Lord seeketh such. They that worship him gonna do it out. In spirit and in truth. God wants us to give him praise in spirit and in truth. You know, when you get in the spirit, you don't be worried about what's going on around you. Do you? We come in looking. Uh -huh. Not only here, wherever people go, people sit down and look. All right, let's continue. Rick, that's good, Josh. Just hold your point there. 15th chapter, 1 Chronicles. Verse 25. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All right, now, the, the, here they are. You know, they... They're singing, they're praising the Lord, they're giving honor, and they're doing it with all their might. And then he he getting the elders and different ones. Is that right? Elders and the captains. Elders and the captains. Over thousands went up. Over went, thousands. Over thousands went up. Went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obadon. Yes. With joy. With what? With joy. You see, one of the <laughs> brothers and sisters, listen. We got to be, the scripture said like this. 
David said like this. Make a joyful noise. Yes. Didn't he say yes. so? Yes. Yeah, see, we got to be joyful about what we're doing. Yes. You, 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 know, you can think of something that you just got so exuberated and so feeling good about. You know, it brought you joy. You, you know, we all have experienced that. Because there's been certain things in our lives that we have experienced that brought about joy. Is that right? Because no. sometimes you get so joyful, you start crying. Yes. You just, you just be so, is that right? No. Let's be real about this thing. So God wants us to be, to him, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. For him, we should be able to give him praise. Give him, be glad about it. You know, I'm glad about it. When you're glad about it, you talk about it. When you're glad about it, you sing about it. When you glad about it, you talk about it. When you got joy, you know you want to tell somebody about it. They don't know what I'm talking about. God wants to be joyful. He wants us to be joyful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Be glad about it. He's on the throne judging us. Give him praise. Give him honor. While we got our being. Because when we go into the grave, I hear the scripture say, the grave can't celebrate thee. You can't celebrate in the grave. You got to praise him now. But they did it with joy. Make a joyful noise unto who? Unto the Lord. He said, all ye land. He said, serve him with what? Gladness. And come before his presence with singing. Ain't that beautiful? No. That's the scripture. That's what we say we love and obey. We got to obey that. Yeah. We got to practice doing those things. Is that right? Yeah. Read the book. And it came to pass. Yes. When God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant. When God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant. That they that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen. Now here they are. They, they are so grateful to God until they, they made sacrifice. Did they? They offered bullocks. Amen. You know, we, we thank God for how the Lord blessed us and helped us when we did our 21 day fast, you know, an observance of the Lord. Nice. You know, uh, abstaining from certain things and striving to, to you know, do that. And, if somebody may not have been able to do a whole, I don't think nobody did the whole 21 days in a row. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't. <laughs> you know, but it was just a time to observe and to, yeah. to make a sacrifice. Because the scriptures say, present your body a living sacrifice. Yeah. It's good to fast and pray. So we just thought we would take 21 days and, and just do that and to give God praise and, and acknowledge Him. To get away from our old kind of habits, you know. You know, you know, because we have old habits. You, you know how you, you wake up in the morning, you want that cup of coffee and that, that toast Amen. or that donut. Amen. And, and that day you didn't, you don't eat, you know, for days you didn't do that, you know. You know, Jesus. you sacrifice, you wanted to see something move, you to do something. We just sacrificed ourselves. Amen. We just humbled ourselves. And there's nothing wrong with humbling ourselves before the Lord. Amen. Is that right? It's a good thing to do that. We should do more of that, you all. We should want to sacrifice ourselves. Because God said, present your body a living sacrifice. He said how to do it. Holy and acceptable unto God. So let's not forget to pray and to fast and to seek the Lord. They made sacrifices. So let me tell you something. You draw nigh to God. And that's our motto for this year. Drawing nigh to God. He'll draw nigh to you. Amen. You can draw nigh to God and sing and praise him and worship. Amen. You ever see somebody sing a song and get so glad and they start dancing? Because they, 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 they have given themselves to, to that. And when you sing a song, understand the words of the song. If you, let me tell you something. If you sing a song with meaning and with conviction, it'll do something to you. Just sing it. 
You can hallelujah. You can sing a song with meaning and conviction and, 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 and understanding the words of that song. Is that right? It's a lot of songs. If you just, if, if people would just sing, everybody would just sing to the glory of God. Amen. They're just like one song, He Could Have Let Me Drown. Amen, if everybody think about that song, just think about don't, don't even look at that Josh. I don't know he could have let me drown. What you talking about? Well, I'm talking about in the sense of because when you drown, you die. Right? right? But he could have, he could have did. But instead, he rescued me. He rescued us all. And don't you glory to God. Don't you know how good you feel when you are rescued? Don't you? If you're about to drown out there and somebody rescue you, and they say, throw out the lifeline, and somebody rescue you, you ain't going to come to the show just, uh, you're going to be so glad. I feel like this brother Rick and I, we was, in, we was out there fishing, it turned over in a boat. Out yes, there fishing, turned over in a cave in Philadelphia. Out yes, there fishing. Yes, Lord. Turned over in the boat, turned over in the boat. And Lord knows how deep it. We was out there. He couldn't let us drown. Yes, couldn't let us gain the gallows. Yes, yes. And glory to God, by the time we, we got to show some kind of way, some kind of way we got to show. And I was still, I had my boots on, I didn't take them off because we were dipping the water. But before I even, as soon as I touched the earth, touched the earth, as soon as I, I felt myself on dry land, the weed was on me. But I still got it by giving God thanks. Why? He could have let me go. But it's scary. But instead he rescued. We was out there in sin, doing everything we wanted to. God could have killed us out there. We could have drowned out there. We could have killed everybody. I don't care who you are. Can't you look back in your life and see where God rescued you? Huh? God has done something for you. Huh? That's just words or song. That's why it means something to sing. You know, sing with understanding. Is that right? Sing with understanding. Think about the word and think about the goodness of the Lord. What he said, Greg? That they offer seven bullocks and seven rams. They offer seven bullocks? Seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen. Yes. And all the Levites that bear the ark. And the, and, and the singers. And the, and the Cananiah. What verse is it, Verse 27. All right, what he said? Amen. And the singers. The singers. And Cananiah, the master of the song, <laughs> with the singers. You hear that? He did something. The singers. So when those of you that sing, sing to the glory of God. I would think we're gonna do soon, we're gonna do a Zoom service, and I would like for everybody to be here this Friday. I'm gonna mention it right now, why it's on my mind. But you we just thank God. I want you to sing to the glory of God. It means something now to sing, doesn't it? Yes, sir. So we want everybody to be here Friday. So we're supposed to be singing a song. And one song that I was thinking about, the one that it so, was sung so beautifully today. I love the way it was sung, and that was the one where you all were singing um uh, you know, where Jesus went up and down. I can't even think of the song right now. Lift your name on high, thank you. Is that right? And if y'all want to, y'all can come in and sing the other songs of Jackson sound. Well, I'm supposed to have two selections, but that song is beautiful. And if you have to, come in and practice it and sing, because we're supposed to be on. We want everybody to be here. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. So let's be here. We're going to have service Wednesday. So we're gonna wait till to to Friday. I want everybody to come on in. Be here at least six thirty, so we can be ready to do what we got to do. We got to go through the practice of the Zoom. We just got to get it all together. Cause we gonna we represent. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Can y'all can y'all be here on time? One one thing. This one. 
<laughs> you're asking me. You're asking me to do something. And I'm asking you all. Amen. So y'all, y'all, y'all will be here on Amen. 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 We thank God. So, but we want to we think about those two songs. Yes, yeah, the Lord's will. So that's one of them. But, you know, the choir guy may have something else in mind. But nevertheless, we want to be able to sing. What did he say about the singers, Rick? And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, and all the Levites that bear the ark. And the singers and and, and the singers and Cananiah the master he of song. the master of song with the singers. Ain't that something? Yeah. They were already the, the singers and the master of the song. Of the song. Is with that the, all right? With the singers. With the singers. David also had 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 upon him an ephod of linen. And, and David was right there too. An ephod of linen. Read the book. Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting. They, they did it with what? With shouting. Glory to God. Man, shouting. They it was up glad. Bringing up the ark with shouting. With shouting. Man, shouting. Man. shouting. You, know, you can look at that in two senses. You can look at that as shouting. Amen, sir. And then shouting. Ah! Amen. <laughs> well, can you imagine all that together? Man, glad about it. Glad about it. Glorifying who? The Lord. Amen. See what they did? They was glorifying God. They wasn't messing around. Amen, sir. Amen. Glad for his presence. Man, glad for his presence. Let me tell you something. The more you magnify and lift up the Lord, yeah. the, the, the more his presence. You feel his presence. I'm Amen. telling you. Amen. That's what we're supposed to do. Amen. Don't sit around like, be just like, ah, oh, the people of God, Amen. they praise, they honor the Lord. Man. That's why people a long time ago, you know, people that used in sanctified churches, they, almost, they always criticize the sanctified people. Man. All the people ought to be shouting, singing loud, and hollering and stuff. Well, you're supposed to be praising God. Make a joy for God. I want to join this thing. You hear I sit down like, you know, you're so nauseous, like you got on your nice suit or your nice dress or whatever. You don't want to get sweaty and hot. You don't want to make no noise. And the Lord said, make a joyful noise. See, we have scripture Man, sir. for the things that we do. Yes, we yeah. do sir. That's why we just try to do it like that, because we want to be saved. You have scripture. Man. Like people say, well, when that's, you know, you know you've been on a job, I'm talking to one of my daughters, and she was telling me, well, Dad, I ain't seen it in the handbook. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? If you didn't see it in the handbook, you got to worry about it. But here's our handbook. Here's our, Is that right? When it's in the scripture, we can do it just like God says. Is that right? Amen. What he said, Greg. Thus all Israel brought up the Ark of the Covenant. Thus all Israel brought up the Ark of the Covenant. Of the Lord with shouting. With shouting. And with the sound of the cornet. With the sound of the cornet. And with trumpets. With trumpets. And with cymbals. And with cymbals. Making a noise with psalteries and harps. Making a noise. The Lord Jesus. God loves noise. Spiritual, joyful noise. Yes. He loved that. Yes. You know, it's like on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. The scripture said there was noise abroad. Didn't it say yes. so? Is that right? They were making so much noise until it stirred up the people. Yes. That was just telling me you want to make noise. Yes. There ain't too much noise for the Lord when you're giving God praise. Don't be ashamed to give God praise. Don't be scared to make noise. People look at one of the people wonder how something you know what we, we do as people sometimes. I think we sometimes wonder about how somebody else what somebody else gonna say. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, yeah, give me why you, and then you hear people say that they are God. Wonder why they making all that noise, she's doing all that shouting. Well, she wanna give God praise. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see we're gonna see something about how one individual looked at somebody praising God and what they done too. Don't tell me people don't look at you. Sometimes people look at you and despise you praise. Yes. That's a shame. Yes. I'm going to look at you and despise you praising God. Yes. Okay, if you're running around this building and saying, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, praising God. Yes. If God begins to, to, to touch you in your heart and mind, you get yes. to speak in tongues and giving God praise. Ain't nothing I can say. Give God praise, don't you? Yes, we do, sir. Mess around here messing around, Ain't giving God the praise. What he said. Amen. And it came to pass, as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, that Michael, the, the, the Michelle, the daughter of Saul, 
looking out at her window, saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. Hmm. I told you. Ain't that something? She looking out her window. She should be out there praising too. She looking out her window. And Michelle, the daughter of Saul, you know, sometimes people should be so well, but they watching something else. <laughs> See how we are. And don't think people don't listen to me. People do they have the same kind of mentality as today. Yeah. That was written four times, written five, we're learning. Yeah. People look at you, people, they be like, they be in the church looking at you, wondering why you're doing that, dancing like that. And that's probably why some people don't give God all he's great, but they too worried about whether somebody else look at it. And what they gonna say. Strong with you. Lord, help us Jesus. Jesus. Do that. Give God. I should be praising God with you because I, I understand what's going on. Yeah, you know, the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem, there came a sound from heaven as a rush of wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And it sat upon each of them. I would love for God to come in and sat upon each, sit upon each one of us. Yeah. Even those that don't say that, did God come in and just touch you? Let his presence just let it feel his presence. Jesus. Feel his power when you ain't got no control. He controls you. Second Samuel. What second Samuel say? Second Samuel 6 and verse 12. Let's hear it. And it was told King David saying. It was told King David saying what? The Lord have blessed the house of Obadiah. The Lord done blessed the house of Obadiah. And all that pertaineth unto him. And all that he had. Because of the ark of God. Because of what? The presence, the ark of God. It means something to have God's presence with you. Amen. Even Is that right? Even in your home. Amen, sir. To acknowledge God in your home. Amen. Acknowledge him. Pray. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Turn off the computer. Turn off and take time to come in. Husband, wife, children. Is that right? And pray. Is that right? Well, I know we too caught up in certain things, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I like the testimony of Jonathan. The first thing you get up in the morning, he's thinking about work, but you got to change that. Amen, sir. <laughs> I got to think about Jesus. Amen. I got to think about the Lord. And now we all should do. Amen. Before you even start your day, no, no, well, I got to go do this. No, you got to go on your knees and give God praise. Yes, yes. And thank Him. Yes. We so caught up. We, so caught up materialistic things and the, what, what's going on to we we fail to miss our whole objective and to give see that's even giving God praise too. Amen, sir. Yes, it is, sir. Amen. We get up in the morning, get dressed, and won't say nothing. Just go. I am gone. Acknowledge him first. Acknowledge him first. He woke you up. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, Amen. Amen sir. Amen. Let, we got to learn to do that. We got to learn to do that. What he said, the Lord hath blessed the house of Obadiah, mm -hmm. and all that pertaineth unto him, and all that pertain to him, because of the ark of the God. Why? Because of what? Because of the ark of God. Because the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obadiah unto the city of David with gladness. With what? With gladness. With gladness. And it was so. What? That when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed <laughs> oxen and fat. David was praying. I, I, see, Lord Jesus help us yes. because they understood the presence of God. They understood what it meant to have God in their life. That's what we got to understand. What it, how much it means for us to be able to have God in our life. To be able to call upon the name of the Lord. To know who the Lord is. To know who to call on. Some people don't know who to call on. But we know his name. Yeah, Is that right? They were just glad for his presence being there. Now we got his presence and his name. Amen. 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 Now the of God. Don't Amen. we got his presence and his name? Yes. Ain't that amazing? Amen. Amen. You can come hallelujah. I gotta tell you. Yes. We Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. We can come for his presence. Yes. And we know his name. Yes. We get a hallelujah. We can thank God for his presence. Yes. 
And we know who to call. Do you know who to call? Yes. Who you call on then? Jesus. Oh, y'all see that kind of weak. Jesus. 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 That name means something, you all. Do y'all hear what I just said? We, they was glad because of the presence. Is that right? Here we got his presence and we know his name. What do we And his spirit. Ain't that something? His name, his presence, and his spirit. Man, everybody should be shot. Amen. Amen. Glad about name, presence, and spirit. Yes. You know his name, don't you? Yes. Anybody here don't know the Lord's name? Everybody knows his name. Yes. That's why the scripture says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Come on in. Yeah. Jesus. Hey, come on, you all. Yes. Don't you love feeling the presence of the Lord? Amen, sir. No greater feeling. What he said. And it was so that when they had, when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen. He sacrificed fatness. six paces. He sacrificed oxen and fatness. And fatness. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. Mm. David got everybody beat, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking, he danced before the Lord. Here we got his spirit in us, and we don't even move sometimes. Wait a minute, something wrong somewhere. Yes. You mean tell me, I got his spirit, and he don't move me, and I'm not glad, because it's a movement that, in a presence, that you just don't feel just, just, just ordinarily. See, the presence and the, the feeling that God gives us and his presence, it means a whole lot. It means a whole lot. That's why we teach people, see God for the Holy Ghost. Because, see, you ain't seen nothing yet. You See, God, he, he, when he comes into this body, his spirit in your body, it's going to be a change. It's going to be a difference. On the day of Pentecost, it's going to be so magnificent and so great until you're going to begin to speak another language. Another language. When God's proud, hallelujah. When God comes into you, you understand. When God comes into you, God said, I will be in you. Did you say so? As a word. You ever had that water spring up in you? Glory to God. Huh? It ain't gonna run dry. But it means something. It means something, brothers and sisters. It means something to have God's presence with you. Hallelujah. What he says. Acts. Yeah, you touch Acts. Let's touch Acts then. Second chapter of Acts, verse 1. Touch Acts. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, it was fully come. They were all with one accord in one place. Now here, here God's presence and His Spirit yes. filling His people. Amen, sir. Amen. What is that? And suddenly, suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And. And it filled all the house where they were sick. Yes. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues. There appeared tongue, unto them cloven tongues. Like as a fire. Like as a fire. And it, and it sat upon each of them. He was making a noise. Can you imagine? It yeah. was just a cloven tongue. As a fire. Yes. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were filled with the. Some people say, you know, you know. Let me tell you something. You get filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Yes. God put his spirit within you. Some people say you don't get filled with the Holy Ghost. Some people say you don't speak in tongues. That's not true. According to the scripture, you do speak in tongues when you get filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. And then you have to even, I would say even go back 
and seek God some more because you can speak again. Amen. Amen. A lot of people don't have the Holy Ghost. They never spoke in tongues. I, I, I felt good. I, I felt I used to feel good when I used to go to dance. Yeah, so a long time ago, you used to come in the dance, blowing out a whistle, talking about yourself, you felt sanctified. <laughs> you used to come in that job, blowing out a whistle, yeah, I feel sanctified. Because <laughs> they knew that was a good feeling. They knew that was a good feeling. They knew that was a feeling that was different than any other feeling. Come on, y'all. Let's be real with this thing. So now, hallelujah, the spirit of God was within us. Amen. It should be a power yes. that is different from any other power yes. that you yes. feel or have yes. ever felt within your body. Amen. Yes. Because God said, I will be in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's what he said. Yes. And that's where he'll be. Hallelujah. 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 I know God is in me. I ain't, I ain't even shaking. I ain't wondering nobody can say, oh, you just said that. No, I ain't just saying nothing. I just know that. Oh, yeah, he's in me. Hallelujah. Yes, he's in me. Huh? He don't want, he's not only in me, he's in others too. He's not just in others, he want to reside with others also. But how much do you want? Huh? So somebody says, oh, you're in church. And that goes for children too. Children too. You can receive the Holy Ghost. Make sure you got it like God said. See God. Is that right? He, 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 he's not a respectable person. Is that right? Amen. What he said. And, they were, and th there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. What happened? And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And did what? And began to speak with other tongues. How? As the Spirit gave them utterance. Oh, oh can you imagine that? I mean, can you imagine? I mean, you know what it is? It's just, just the, the power of God coming in so great and wait until it fills the heart and everybody's speaking in tongues and the power of God is in. Do you know that's some power? Because you know what he said. I'm going to tell you why I said some power. He said, You shall receive power. That's some power in him. That's what we want. We want the power of God to reside, don't we? Yes. Not to be worried about Let God use you like he wanted you. Yes. Yes. Is that right? Amen. You know all right? All right, Rick, let's get back over there where David is. We thank God for his presence. Like I say, we got his presence, his spirit, and his, is that right? And know his name. Just sometimes what you do, get, get by yourself sometimes. Get by yourself sometimes. Ain't nobody there with you. And stop thinking on Jesus and just cook. Hallelujah. Amen. And just get down and pray. Amen, sir. I'm just telling you, just you and the Lord. Just you and the Lord. Person. Ain't nobody there with you. Yes. You know, just TV all, computer all, Amen. everything. Just you and the Lord. Amen. Just get down there. You, you, you and him. Yes. I'm going to call him. Yes, Lord. I'm going to call him because I, I know his name. Yes. It ain't that I don't know his name. Yes, because I do know his name. Yes. And I do know his power in his name. Yes. Is that right? I do know his name. I do know who to call on. Yes. And he did say, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yes. Call upon him while he's where? Near. Yes. So it ain't that he's way out there where Uranus is. Yes. But he's right there. Yes. And then when you get before, hallelujah, when you get before him, just believe that he is. Yes. Just believe. Yes. Just like Jacob. Jacob yes. said, this is a dreadful place. Yes. See, if you get your mind made up to see God, just show. Yes. Wife ain't got to be there. Husband ain't got to be there. Children ain't got to be there. Uh, daddy, mommy ain't got to be there. Children, you can be there. Yes. 
Because you know his name. Is that right? You ain't got to pay no fee that he didn't touch with it. Yeah. Just, just get down there. Yeah. You and him. Yes. And call him. Hallelujah. Yes. Call him sincerely. Yes. I heard the preacher say, seek ye the Lord and call upon him. Yes. You say, I will be with you. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Then he said, Enter into your closet. Enter into what you mean, closet? Just a solitary place, me and the Lord. Try! Yes. We should all do that. Take time to do that. Is that right? Don't let nothing distract you. Now, now I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be a fight. Because, see, you're going to start thinking about this, not that. But you know what you do? You, you seek God and you call him. Until you reach that level of where that is dissipated. See, that's what you got to do. Because the enemy going to try to fight you. He's going to try to bring all kinds of stuff. What you did last night. What, he'll try to bring a movie that you saw two weeks ago. I'm telling you. See, people don't know the power of the enemy. Because you know what he want to do? He want to stop you from reaching that level. He want to bring all kinds of distractions. Just call him. I mean, years ago, he used to be tearing, right? And actually, uh, Terry, and you know, his brother, sister, saints, say, you know, call him, call him, devil, the enemy trying to, but you know, when the enemy trying to bring us up, I call him hard. Sometimes you see the saints down, calling, people calling you, they're shaking their head, but they don't want that thought. Thoughts come to your mind. Let's be real, you're human. The enemy try to mess with our thoughts and stuff. Because he's trying to bring things that you want to want to appease your flesh. Say he's a liar. Call you. I'm gonna call him anyway. I'm gonna call Jesus anyway. Lord Jesus. Jesus. How do that mean? Jesus. 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 I'm gonna call him anyway. Jesus. 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 I'm gonna call him anyway. Lord Jesus. I'm gonna call him anyway. Amen. You don't feel it. One thing about us as humans, I'm going to tell you something. It's a lot of times we don't feel like doing a lot of things. Is that right? Sometimes you don't feel like going to church. Sometimes you don't feel like going to work. Sometimes my wife don't feel like cooking. She may not tell her husband that, but she's going to cook it. Anyway. She, and that chicken don't taste good as used because she ain't felt like she She just kind of threw it there to make it be presented. But she ain't really put that touch in. Because sometimes people be cooking and talking to you. You're going to be good today. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you down good today. And be rubbing it. <laughs> oh, no, people know what no, they do. You cook your peas and your green hoe. Y'all going to be, I'm going to put some, I'm going to add some more to you. Put that love in there. Sometimes you don't feel like you do that. But then we have to go beyond how we feel sometimes. Is that right? Can't please me to bless. And then when you, get, when, you, when you get going, then God just gives you strength. Is that right? So let's let's work on those things. In the presence of God. When we leave here, we're in the presence of God. What did he say? Amen. Back over in 2 Samuel 6 and started verse 13. And it was so when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces. He sacrificed oxen and fat, and David danced before the Lord with all his might, mm -hmm. and David was girded with a linen of ephod. So David and all his house and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting, with shouting, and with the sound of the trumpet, and with the sound of the trumpet. And, and as the ark of the Lord came into the city of and David, the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, of David, Michelle Saul's daughter looked through a window. And saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. 
Hey, that's something you all. That's some you know, see, see, that's the wrong spirit. Saw King David leave. Saw the king leave. You know what? That would have been something. Just leaping and leaping and dancing. Dancing. The wall. So so he was he was he, he was he wasn't just dancing. He was leaping, then he he danced, leaping, and do a dance. Before the Lord. And now see, whenever you give God praise, you're dancing, you dancing, you 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 doing it before the Lord. You know, a long time ago, people used to, you know, have dance. They used to be dancing. You know, they be dancing, right? They dancing. Everybody dancing. They, 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 they get in a line. And, you know, each couple get on one on that side, one on that side. Then they have the middle. Everybody on the side, everybody come down doing their dance. You know, it, you know what I'm saying? They come down doing their dance. Then you dance before the people. <laughs> Is that right? But now, before the Lord. Before the Lord, that's a great day. I don't care who's watching me. I'm going to give God praise. And see, it takes the spirit in order to get you to get you motivated. But you see somebody, man, he, he moving kind of slow, but when the spirit get that, you know, David said like this, the same David said, make me feel as though I can run through truth. Ain't that wonderful? Can you imagine the power of God, the Spirit of God on you, yeah. make you want to feel as though you can run? Sometimes you feel, oh, I'm hurting. But the Spirit of God, you know, you hurt long. Till after God get through it, then come on back. But at least God done got them blow. Is that all right? What he said? And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michelle's daughter, Michelle, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. Mm -hmm. And they brought in the ark of the Lord yes. and set it in his place. Set it in his place. In the midst of the tabernacle. In the midst of the tabernacle. That David had pitched for it. Ain't that something? He done pitched the tabernacle for it. In the midst of the tabernacle. And David offered burnt offerings burnt and peace offerings, offerings before the Lord. Before the Lord. And as soon as David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of the of hosts. Blessed the people. Is that all right? What, he, what, what, what chapter you're in? Six, right? Six and verse nineteen. All right, let's hear it. And he and he and he dealt among all the people. And he dealt among all the people, even among the whole multitude of Israel. Yes. As well as the women. As men, to everyone a, a cake of bread and a good piece of fit flesh. <laughs> he was just so glad. See what he done? He even done something for the people there. Yeah. It was in the presence of God. Oh, I want you to take this right now. Yeah. He blessed. He, it, it, was, it meant something for the presence of God to be in the midst of the people. Yeah. Saints, it means something for the presence of God to be in our midst. Yeah. And, and all the people of God, everyone, it shouldn't be where the people of God fussing, fighting, carrying on. You know, it shouldn't be those kind of things. I mean, it, it, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that kind of way. Man. You know, God don't want, don't want that to be a part of us. God. We want to be able to praise God. You know, you, you can't even praise. If, if, if you got a problem with me and I'm praising God and rejoicing, you ain't going to rejoice. Oh, Just like that lady. She looked down at David. He dancing. She should have been coming down the steps trying to rejoice too, but she despised. Him. Man. That shouldn't even be among the people. Man. Where you get this, you despise because somebody rejoices. You get in the spirit and you can rejoice too. Man. All right, let's go to 16th chapter. Go to 16th chapter. Josh, you read the first six verses 16th chapter, which is of First Chronicles. I'm gonna have both of y'all read maybe six, six or seven verses a piece because it's kind of long. I'm gonna try to maybe try to get through with this if we can. What he said? Sixteen chapter of First Chronicles, you know, verse one. Remember now we're talking about the ark, the presence of God. Is that all right? Yeah. David, you see what David done did? He done rejoiced. He done did. Got the singers, everybody rejoicing in the Lord because they got the ark back. In their presence. What he said. So they brought the ark of God. So he brought the ark of God. And set it in the midst of the tent. And set it. He just said that. 
and sat in the midst of the tent. That David had pitched for. Yes. And they offered burnt sacrifices uh, and peace offerings before God. Is that all right? Yeah. Come before his presence saying, make an offering, make a sacrifice. Read it. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Yes. And he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread. See how he just, he just read that, didn't he? Yeah. Over there in the sixth chapter. He just rehearsed it right over here. Yeah. Everybody that came to, to bless the Lord and gave God praise. Amen. And he didn't even send them all home. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stand and bless. Read the book. And he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. Flagon of wine. And he Read appointed it. certain of Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord. He, he appointed certain of the Levites to minister. You know, that, that, that's why it's good to have a faithful brother. Because you might want to appoint somebody to do something. It means something to be faithful, brother. We are the we are the, we are the, the, the forefront. It means something to have faithful brothers. Amen. Sometimes people may not tell you to do nothing because you ain't faithful. Amen. Amen. How you gonna tell somebody to go pick up somebody and they, they don't even know how to come to work yourself? Amen. Amen. It means something to be faithful. Y'all realize that? Amen. It means something. Somebody can depend on you. Somebody can, if I ain't worried about that, I just tell him that he'll take care of it. It ain't about the sisters, it's, it's broken. We thank God for the sisters now, because Paul said like this. He said, help no, help no women that lay with me in the gospel. Yes. And women do good jobs, and women do good work. Yes. And, they, and they ain't just started, they've been doing it. Yes. Ever since the Lord blessed me to get in the church, I can go back and pick up women and mothers that have done great things. Big help. <laughs> Big help. Nice, Is that right? Nice. But brother, we got to be faithful. Nice. Nice. Read the book. He appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord. Minister. See, he got certain brothers. Is that people to minister before the ark? Is that right? Nice. Read the book. And to record. And to record. And to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel. And to do what? And to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel. Amen. To record and to thank and to praise the Lord God of Israel. It's all about the Lord. Amen. Read. Asaph the chief, and next to him was Zechariah, Jael, and Shemar. Shemar giving all these names. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And Matthiah, and Eliah, and Benaiah, and Obadim, and Jeliah with salt, salt trees, and with hearts. But Asaph made a sound with symbols. See, all these here was present before the Lord. Make, can you imagine? It was, it was constant singing, praising the Lord. Even the heart. They were just steady playing. Yes. Ain't that something? Yes. We should always be when we come before them. You know, it'd be good for everybody to, to have a song when you come. To have a praise. Yes, to sing. I mean, have that. Yes. It's just a blessing. That just, you know, I want to have something for the Lord. Answer. Read the book. Beniah and Jehazel, the priests with trumpets, continually before the ark. They continued the before the ark of the covenant. They prayed. All right, read, Rick. I'm going to let Rick read seven. Then, six verse. then on that day, David delivered first this psalm to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph and his brother. He delivered a psalm. Amen. Give, mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Give thanks unto the Lord. Give do what? Give thanks unto the Lord. This is what he's saying. Do now. Give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon His name. Do what? Call upon His name. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon His name. Make known His deeds among the people. Let people know how the goodness of God. Sing unto him. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of his wondrous work. Is that it? Y'all hear that? Yes. Talk about the goodness of God. He just sing a song. Let's go on. Let's go on. Talking about the good old way. Yes. Talk about the good old way. Is that right? Yes. Talk about God's goodness. Sing song. Call. You hear the scripture just say do, don't you? 
Give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Yes. Sing unto him. Yes. Sing psalms unto him. Yes. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Yes. Glory ye in his holy name. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Rejoice, rejoice. That's that's the, heart. the heart of them rejoice. That seek the Lord. Amen. You can be glad for the Lord. Don't, whatever thing you seeking the Lord, don't be Joyce. sad. Be glad. Be joyful. Amen. Thank God you got this opportunity. Amen, sir. You have a chance like this. Yes. What else he said? Seek the Lord. Do what? Seek the Lord. Do what? Seek the Lord. What he said to y'all? Seek, Seek the Lord. The Lord. Huh? <laughs> Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. And his strength. And his, his strength. Yes. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Do what? Seek his face continually. You think people just this today the only day we go to seek the Lord? Seek his face continually. If I won't see you no more this week. Seek you his face Until Friday. You both do what? Be seek seek his the Lord face continually. continually. Yeah. Shall be calling you upon it. Yes. Thanking him. Amen. Riding down the road thanking him. Praising him. Yes. Is that right? Amen. Seek his face continually. Amen. He didn't say stop. Seek his face. He said just on Sunday. Continually. We want to seek his face continually. Read the book. Remember his marvelous works that he has done. See, 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 he making you think about things. See, I told you he done done something for all of us. Yes, he has, sir. He done done something for every one of us in here. Yes. Those that have the Holy Ghost, those that don't have the Holy Ghost, those that are seeking the Holy Ghost, those that ain't been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever it is, you in this building, you in this, he done done something for you. Yes. Yes. And he's worthy of praise, worthy of honor. Yes, yes he is. <laughs> We want to get us in the mood of thanking God and seeking Him. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? What else he said? Remember His marvelous works. Remember His marvelous works that He have done. That He have done His wonders. His wonders and the judgments of His mouth. And the judgments of His mouth. Oh, ye seed of Israel, uh -huh. his, his servant. His seed of Israel, his servant. Ye children of Jacob, yes. and his chosen one. Listen, read. He is the Lord our God. He's the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. His judgments are well in all the earth. I, read, I mean, Josh, begin to read. Be ye mindful always of his covenant. His judgment is in all the earth, but be ye mindful always of his covenant. Be mindful of the things that he has said Amen. in his covenant. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. The word that he commanded to a thousand generations. Ain't that something? Yeah. <laughs> a, a thousand generations. Lots of people. Sir. He said, "Your great, 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 thousand, thousand generations." Ain't that something? Yes, it is, sir. That's a lot of people. Yes, it is, sir. Amen. His covenant is a thousand generations. God is good, isn't He? Yeah. Say that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. give God thanks. Thank Him. Learn to thank him and praise him and honor him and call upon him. Young children, learn to thank him and praise him and honor him and call upon him. You can thank him for your parents. Thank him for your grandparents. Thank him for your mom and dad. Just thank him. Thank him that, that they feed you. Thank him. Just thank him. And then call him on why you thank him. What did he say? Even of the covenant which he made with Abraham. Even the covenant which he made with Abraham. And of his oath to Isaac. Oath to Isaac. And have confirmed the same with Jacob for a law. Same. He went back and got the old picture out. Mm -hmm. How he made promises and things to them. He's still God. He's still God. He went way back. He's still. A... Listen. He's not. Listen. He ain't changed his style. He ain't changed his place. Amen, sir. Still... His style ain't changed. Amen. So he ain't like, oh, we stay and change style. We change this and that. No. Amen. Amen. No. He, you know the scripture say, the Lord the same yes. yesterday, today, yes. and forever. Yes. Throughout thousands of generations, Amen. he has blessed people down through the years. And still is. What he said. And have confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. 
saying unto thee, Will I give thee, will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance? Yes. When ye were but a few, even a few of strangers in it. Even back then, God blessed his people then. Amen. Now listen, Sam, I'm going to tell you, God loves you. Yes. See, you got to understand and realize that he loves you. He, he really loves you. I know sometimes, I mean, I see you know, sometimes you want to, he really loves me. You know, a wife might want to do a husband really loves because of the way he talks, the way he acts, what he do. A husband might think the wife wouldn't do, she really loves me. Carol may think, do my parents really love me? You know, you know how we think. See, that's us. That's how we think. God don't think like that. You know what you got to write? Say, Lord, you love me. They, they, they sing a song like that. Lord, you love me. I love that song. Out of all the mistakes, you still love me. Yeah. You've been so good. Uh, you know, I love that. But he does. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless of if nobody else loves you, you got to remember one thing. Yes. God loves you. Yes. 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 And when you know that God loves you, you, you walk and you do pleasing to the one that loves you. I know sometimes things seem like it's out the way, thing. You, you're not going to make it. But just remember, well, Lord, you love me. Yes. I know I, I, things, I'm going through things, but the Lord loves me. Yes. See, that's encouragement to you yes. to realize and understand that God loves me. Yes. Though I'm going through, God still loves me. Yes. That's just like parents. Parents who love, love their children. Yes. Though they beat them, though they chase them, they still love them. Because why? They want the best Amen. for them. Amen. Grandparents love the church. Why? They want the best for them. Amen. And they, even, they may scold you, but they, scold, they love you. God may chase them up, but he still loves us. That's a blessing, isn't it? Amen. To know that God really loves you. We got to believe in the day knowing that God loves me. God loves me. Lord, help me to understand your love. Because sometimes what happens is we don't really understand love itself. Love is a great thing. To know that God loves you, you can go home today and say, Lord, thank you for loving me. Help me to appreciate your love towards me. Help me to walk in love. Because he loves you. He loves you. Is, is that all right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Man, you know what? Love is, I'm going to tell you something, Say, Love is so great to, I don't even think we understand it ourselves. I'm just here to take it. Yeah, homie, he gave me $100. He loved me. Oh, he loved you. Amen, sir. Man, she feeds me five cakes. Now, I know she loved me. I don't think she loved you. Amen. Amen. See, we so into monetary things. Thinking that that's love. Well, you got to think about yourself right. and the mistakes that you made. Yes. And God still take care of you. Yes. He still gives you life. Yes. He still gives you breath. Yes. He has to ask, Lord, help me to understand how much you love me. Help me to understand. Lord, you know, he doesn't show forth his love to yes. us. Yes. But we want to keep that in mind how much he loves us. Nice. And you won't feel bad about certain things. Nice. Things come up and say, well, thank God, the Lord loves me. Uh, I ain't got to feel bad about this because he loves me. Ain't that something? Yes. Been playing game with comprehend the king. No, sir. Be <laughs> he loves you. Read the book. And when they went from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He didn't suffer nobody to do it wrong. God love him. He gonna look out for you. Yeah. Read the book. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake. He reproved kings for their sake. Don't you know? I was listening to that. You know what? I listened to my wife. She was talking about some things. You know, sitting down talking how people mis kind of mis mistreated her on the job and different things. And what God did with them people. See, I'm going to tell you something. The Lord said, it's best for a millstone to be hung by somebody's neck than to fear one of my least ones. When God loves you, you know what he's going to do? He's going to protect you. Amen. 
I'm going to tell you how much he loves you. He loves you so much that somebody bothers you, he'll kill them. Yeah, I'm just telling you, he, he's a good assassin. Can't, can't nobody, you can't put him on trial. Amen, sir. Amen, sir. So, do you see how much it means to pray, to humble our Hallelujah. much it means to humble yourself before God. Because God protects you. David said, go and walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I ain't for you to fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. Thou art with me. When God loves you, he's with you. He's not going to let nobody else harm you. Because he loves you. Psalms 35 and verse 1. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckle, and stand up for mine help. Draw, draw out also thy spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Yes. Say unto my soul, What? I am thy salvation. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, say to my soul. Yes. Say to my soul. I am thy salvation. I'm your salvation. Let them be confounded. I'm, I'm your salvation. Yes. He ain't say, say to my flesh. No, sir. He done went deeper. Yes. He done went to your soul. Amen. He done went to that thing that governs a lot of things about us. Yes, sir. Is that right? Sir. I'm here with thou my soul. Yes. Say, Say my, my soul. soul. I am thy salvation. I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded. Let them be confounded. That seek after my soul. Yes, sir. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Yes. Let them be as the chafe before the wind. Yes. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let them. <laughs> See. One thing about you got to understand something. Yeah. You know, the scripture talks about in heaven, how many angels there. Yeah. You know, John was in the spirit of the Lord's day. Yeah. John said he saw 10,000 times 10,000. Didn't he say so? Yes, Didn't he say he saw thousands of thousands? Hundreds of Is that all right? Yeah. So it's angels. God got angels protecting you. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. God protect you. When you walk in God and strive to be what God wants you to be, God will protect. Now, sometimes it may not seem like it to us, but remember, God take us to the, he'll take us to the brink. Amen, he'll take us close to the edge of the cliff. Amen. It seems like we're going to fall. Amen. But he's going to take care of us. Yes, he will, sir. Yes. Amen. That's why we got to have faith in God. Amen. You got to say, remember, say, Lord, you love me. It's like a, a, a wife may say to her husband, you told me you love me. See, man, when you tell your wife you love her, you saying a lot. You that just I just I, I love you. You're like some guy, you know, young boys are, girl, you know I love you. How you mean love me? You ain't done nothing. I love, I love you, know, I love you. And then you walk down the hall, and then you see her talking to somebody else. Tell her the same thing, girl, I love you. Man's love versus God's love. <laughs> but when you tell your wife you love her, because the Lord say, for a man to love his wife, as he do who? You love you? You love you? Do you love you, I say? I say, man, do you love you? Well, if you love you, you got to love your wife just like you love you. Well, the Lord loves us all. He said he started with the, the, the husband and wife like the church. I'm saying, what I'm saying is, love is a great thing. Let's not just say I love you, but let's mean when we say we love. Amen. Lord, help me to understand the meaning of love more. Because we, we, you know, we think, people, if you ask, ask somebody, ask five people, what do you think love is? What do you think love is? Love. 
Love is having sex. Love is just having Love is just having dinner. Love is somebody give me some money. We got all these monetary things. Instead of knowing when love is going far and beyond. Love is suffering. Love is enduring. See, all those kind of things. Huh? Love is kind. See, all those things, we, we put other things on it. So God love us. What, listen, what can we give him? What can we give him? Name one thing we can give him. The only thing we can give him is ourselves. The earth belongs to the Lord. And the fullness thereof. Then he said, the world and they that dwell therein. So what can you give him? He loves it. He loves all the stuff he done gave us. Sacrifice. Yeah, he done gave us. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Look at what he done. He done sacrificed. His son gave his son. Son gave his life. He gave us the earth. He gave us rain. He gave us sunshine. Wait, he loves us. Yes, he does. He give us health and strength. Yeah. We can move around. Blessings upon blessings. Woo! Yes. See how much he loves you. Yes. So much. Can't even count. Yes. Read the book. Yes. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. Yes. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Yes. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon them at, at unaware, and let his net that he hath hid catch see, himself. And to that and very see, destruction, see, let him fall. See, see, when people try to do you wrong, <laughs> you know what people say, if you get, if you get one dish, you better dig two. God can have, God can have all that. Yes, he can. Man. So what I'm saying, let's put our trust in, in the Lord. Let us realize and understand that the Lord do what? Love us. Yes. All right, who's reading? Which one? It's First Chronicles 16, chapter, verse 22. Let's hear it. Verse 21. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, touch not mine anointing. Listen. And do my prophets no harm. You hear what he said? Sing unto the Lord. That, that's why I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes people, I don't, I don't like this. This is what I don't like. I don't like to see people talking about preaching, just talking about preaching. I'm just being straight. I don't like, hey, 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 hey. You, you don't, you just, don't, just don't say nothing. Don't go talking about somebody, about somebody. You don't know nothing. You just, hey, this and that. Be careful. You don't know who the anointing of God is. I hate to see preachers going at each other. Because you know what it makes the people do? I'm going to tell you, I just don't like that. Because you know what it makes people do? It divides people. That's why I should say how divided is. Can you imagine me raising our nine children, my wife and I, and and and, and we we against each other, and the one of my daughters or sons that feels good that they can go to my side, they'll come to me. One go to my side, they go to her. It'll be a division in the house. Yes, Something go wrong, they're gonna run to me. Something go wrong, they run to mom. Oh, right. Come on. Same thing with people. Nah. Uh, pastor A is my pastor. I'm not my pastor, Pastor Z. I don't know what you're thinking about. But mine is Pastor B. Amen. I don't like to read it. I just don't, I mean, I know people that get up, they get up, they, but I just don't like that. I don't know what you're going to do. Let me tell you something. People are going to do what they want to do anyway. I'm just telling you what I don't like. Gee, I'm just telling you what I don't like. You know? People, they, they, they fun and they like that kind of stuff. They like to see people argue. They like to see preachers argue and fight just like they like to see prize fighting boxing. Ooh, you saw that jab. Ooh, he came with a hook on left jab. He knocked him down. Amen, sir. Is that right? But now somebody called me, called me out, I don't care who preacher or whoever called me out and said a certain thing. I'll get up before them and say, well, no, I didn't say such and such. That what you believe is a lie. I'm 
I'm just saying, you know, God, God is God of peace. And, uh, you know, and I know you ain't gonna be peace all the time, but you know, as much as lies in a little peaceable with all men. Proverbs 6 and verse 16. All right, let's see what Proverbs 6, 16, we're gonna come with you, John. Let's see, let's see. These six things do what the Lord hate. What is that? Yea, seven are an abomination. Proverbs. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, mm -hmm. and heart that devises wicked imagination, and feet that be swift in running to mischief. Yes, sir. A false witness that speaketh lies. Amen. And he that soweth discord among the brothers. Amen. See all these things you don't like. So you. So what I'm saying, brothers, just listen. Be careful. Be careful. Don't 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 go out and just talk about somebody, the sister. Sister so and so in Australia, because sister so and so in Australia, she got a computer. She will take somebody over here in Hawaii, yes, yes. and it don't take it don't take but a type in them, in them, type in a sin, type in a, you know. So be careful. Of it. What he said, Josh? Saying touch not my anointing, because you don't know who God's anointing. You know who God's anointing is, Amen. and do my prophet no harm. So be careful in this saying. Even if you know something, you still got to say, yeah, yeah. You just don't tell. Sometimes I'm going to tell you the best one to tell about certain things. You know who the best one to tell? Jesus. Tell Jesus. Tell the Lord. Say, Lord, I, Lord, I just, just tell him, Lord, help me. Jesus, I don't want to. Be, I'm just telling you, be careful. Yes. You have to be careful. You, you, we have to be careful. You know, we, we really have to be careful. Now the script said, be slow to swift to hear, slow to speak. You have to be, you have to be careful. Amen. Just be careful. Read the book. Amen. Sing unto the Lord, all the earth. But sing unto the Lord, all your earth. So forth from day to day his salvation. So forth day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen. Yes. His marvelous works among all nations. Uh-huh. For great is the Lord. For great is the Lord. And greatly to be praised. Say what? Great is the Lord and greatly to be what? Praised. Is that all right? So it's a great thing to praise him in. Yes. Great. It's great. It's great. Whatever. He also is to be feared above all God. And you fear him above all God. For all the gods of the people are idols. All the gods of the people are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. The Lord, you see, you see what we serve? Yeah. All the people of uh, the earth, people, the gods are idols. Amen. Amen. Read. Glory and honor are in his presence. Uh huh. Strength and gladness are in his place. All right, Rick, read. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the other people. Mm -hmm. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Give to the Lord. Now, we were saying earlier, he said, you know, because of God's presence, because of his greatness, give unto the Lord what's due unto him. Amen. When you come in here, the, the, we come here to praise the Lord. Give God praise. Wherever you go, give God praise. Not only here, wherever you are. You may be in England, you may be in Hawaii, you may be in Africa. Give God praise. Amen. Well, he's the God of all the earth. Is that right? Amen. Read the book. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Hear what he say? Bring an offering. Amen. So we shouldn't be coming before the bring an offering. Amen. You can bring an offering naturally. And bring an offering, you want to bring an offering to your spiritual. Yes, sir. See, God, God, he be, he be one thing. We should be able to bring something to the Lord. Yes. I had one, one minister preach a long years ago. Don't come before the Lord empty. Sometimes we come before the Lord, we don't put nothing in church. Yes, we don't sing, we don't put nothing in church. We just, just him. Fill his face. God don't, God don't want that. Yes. He just want you to come and feel it. Bring some molecules and just fill up some space or something. I'm just saying, what well, see, listen, it's like you got to get the mentality of coming before the Lord. Lord, I'm, I'm bringing this before you. This is yours. I'm bringing myself before you, Lord. That's why we shouldn't mind assembling ourselves. Now, I know the COVID done, done kept us back a lot, but I mean, it's been a year, but we, we got to start. Hopefully, people can count. We want to still be cautious, but still, yeah. we don't want to get so cautious till we, we stop. Mm -hmm. See, you get to the point, I, I said it last Sunday or something, you get to the point, you don't even want to come to church no more. God is due glory. Hey, that one of you could bring a single offering or something. 
to let you know you still think well. I'm just saying, we just, it's like, it's like we just didn't, then I gave up and said, Lord, uh, I'm, I'm all right. I'm doing all right. We don't have the fear. We don't have the, 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 the desire. You know, when you lose your desire. You know, you lose your desire, your interest in, oh, well, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care, man. But we just think about the Lord. The Lord, the, most all of us in here got something in our refrigerator. Some probably got already something cooked good. I'm probably got a freezer full. They're going to cook for me. You know, you, you go over the pantry, sure, that's why y'all should be thinking. Yeah. Your parents give you all kinds of stuff you have. Mm -hmm. Grandparents, you come there. You, you, you ain't, ain't got to need no, no mud dirt. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's people that I don't see on move to have these pancakes and eat dirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, it's only that. That's why we don't come in and just say, oh, I'm just, man, I got to go to church again. You come before the presence of God. Thank you. Honor him. What it says, Rick. I'm just saying that's just what y'all understand that. It's important. Read. Fear before him. Fear before him. All the earth. Yes. The world also shall be stable, and it shall not be it shall not it shall be, and that it be not moved. The world, the world will be stable, it won't move. Read. Let the heavens be glad, let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let, let the men say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Yeah, yeah. Read the book. Let the sea roar. Let the sea roar. And the fullness thereof. Uh huh. Let the fields rejoice, and all that are, that is therein. Yeah. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out with the presence of the Lord, because He cometh to judge the earth. <laughs> oh, okay. so. Then the tree yeah. of the of the of wood, the wood. Sing out at the presence of the Lord. And I see the, the trees got a, you know what? You know, God got a way of getting glory out of everything. Yes, yeah. he does, sir. <laughs> you know, you know, the way the trees just bow, the power. Yeah. Whoosh, yeah. Whoosh. God, get the, God get the glory out of yeah. it. That's just the wind blowing. God is getting glory. The earth is full of his glory. Yes. You see his glory. <laughs> you don't see it, but you see his glory. Amen. And he loves the noise they make. Amen. Yes, he does. <laughs> God is good. Read the book. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at his presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. He cometh to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. He is good. He is what? He is good. Yes. For his mercy endureth forever. See, he's good, and his mercy endureth how long? Forever. He's good. Read the book. And say ye. And say ye what? Save us, O God, of our salvation. Save us, O God, of our salvation. And gather us together. Gather us together. And deliver us from the heathen. Yes. That we may give thanks to thy holy name and glory in thy presence. So and glory in thy praise. See how we're supposed to do. Saints, remember, when you come before his presence, come before his presence with saying and thanking. Always be grateful to God. Don't just come. Well, I'm just here. Don't just come just to endure, just, you know, just to just to come. Some people say, I'm just him. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody come to help work it. I'm just here, I'm just here, because they say come. Nice. You ain't got no gloves, you ain't coming to work with this name. You know, I'm just him. Mm -hmm. Hey, come if we're ready to do something. Nice, sir. Amen. So we want to come up, remember all of us. Come before God's presence. Be glad to come before the Lord. What is it says? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. You know what they say? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. How long? Forever and ever. And what happened? And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Can you guys that? Read it again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Read it again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever and ever. And all the, all the people said what? Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. They say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Is that all right? Yes, 
All right, Joshua, begin reading. So he left there before the ark of the covenant of the Lord at Asa and his brethren to minister before the ark continually as every day's work required. <laughs> and that's up to every day. That was the work they had to do to minister before the ark of the covenant. Continually. Ain't that something? As the day read and open them with their brethren three score and eight. And open them also the son of Judah and the Hassanites to be ordered. And so that the priest and his brother and the priest before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high place that was in Gideon. Yes. To offer burnt offerings of burnt, mm -hmm. burnt offerings unto the Lord upon the altar of the burnt offering, continually morning and evening. Ain't that something? Yeah. Remember now. They had the presence, you know what they had the presence of? What? The ark. And that was symbolic of the presence of who? The Lord. God. We continually, Amen. every day, throughout the day, we can pray, we can yes. give God thanks. Do you do that through the day? Yes. You know, throughout the day, praise the Lord. Singing a song. Yes. God said, sing a song. Yes. I got some songs the Lord gave me. I ain't even, I ain't even put them out yet. I ain't ain't been able to do that. I ain't something yet. I say it to myself. <laughs> but I got somebody there. I got all his there. Because the Lord, Lord, I'm going to tell you, the Lord will bless you like that. You keep your mind on the Lord, you just say something. You say, the Lord is good. And you start singing a little song. That's what God do. Because he's, listen to what he said. He said, singing and making a melody unto your heart. Unto the Lord. Didn't he say so? Yes, sir. Singing songs. So, you know, throughout the day, that's just keeping your mind on a spiritual song. It's all singing. Yes. That's a blessing. Read, Joshua. And to do according to all that is written in the law of the Lord, which he commanded Israel. Yes. And with them, Heman and Judah, and the rest of them were chosen, who were expressed by name, to give thanks to the Lord. To give thanks. He was expressed by name to give thanks to the Lord. Because his mercy endureth forever. Amen. So give thanks. Amen. Is that right? Is that right? Amen. Brothers, don't mind giving thanks. Just brothers, I hope give thanks. I'm just saying the brothers, I know the sisters give thanks, but just remember these men were set up. They were set up to do that. Yes. They were set up to minister. Amen. And they did it every day. Amen. <laughs> Ain't that all right? Read the book. And with him and, and Jonathan, with trumpets and cymbals for those that should make a sound. Hey, that's up. Had certain ones to make a sound. Read. And with musical instruments of God. Musical instruments of God. And the sons of Jonathan were parted. And uh, yes. And all the people departed, every man to his house. And David returned to bless his house. And David returned and blessed his house. They were showing how that they, what the Ark of the Covenant meant. Thank you, brother. How what the Ark of the Covenant meant to them. It meant so much to them to be in their presence. It means so much for us, brothers and sisters, for God to be in our presence. Amen. It means something. One scripture say, he say, how do we know we want you to go? Because my, my presence will be with you. Yes. It's good to have the presence of God with you. Amen. 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 So we're certainly glad for all things in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.